Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve another question and the question has been taken from the CAT 2019 exam slot 2. Now the question is as follows, let ABC be a right angle triangle with hypotenuse BC of length 20 cm. If AP is perpendicular on BC, then the maximum possible length of AP in cm is. Now we have provided for options for this question, option A, 8 root 2 option b 6 root 2 option c 5 and option d 10. now this was our question and i would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to this video for the solution i hope that i've tried the question and you've got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution so according to our given question we are given a right angle triangle abc such that bc is the hypotenuse of length 20 centimeter so we have BC as hypotenuse of 20 cm and A is the point where we have the right angle. Now we are given that a perpendicular is dropped from the point A to the hypotenuse B such that we have to find the maximum value of this perpendicular length AP. So in order to find the maximum value of this length AP, we can use a formula which says that AP is equal to AB into AC divided by BC where AB is the perpendicular, AC is the base and BC is the hypotenuse of the main right angle triangle. Now let's take AB as X and AC as Y so in order to keep it clean. Now we have to find the maximum value of XY by 20. Now in order to find the maximum value of XY by 20, we can use two equations. The first equation we'll use is the Pythagoras theorem that is base square plus perpendicular square is equal to hypotenuse square for a right angle triangle. So we'll have X square plus y square is equal to 20 square that is our first equation and second equation is that arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to geometric mean. Now we will take the arithmetic mean of x and y so we will have x plus y is divided by 2 and it is always greater than or equal to under root of xy. So we have two equations and two unknowns and we know that we can solve it. So if we square it on both the sides we will get x square plus y square plus 2xy is always greater than or equal to 4xy and x squared plus y squared is greater than or equal to 2xy. So this is our second equation. Now we have that x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 squared so that is equal to 400. So on combining these two equations we will get 400 is always greater than or equal to 2xy. So let's do that. On combining both the equations we had got that 400 is greater than or equal to 2xy or we can say that xy is always less than or equal to 200. So the maximum value of xy will happen that is equal to 200. Now the maximum value of ap will happen at the maximum value of xy which is 200. So that is equal to 200 by 20. So the maximum value is equal to 10. Now 10 is our option number d. So final answer is option number d. So this is how we use Pythagoras theorem and am is greater than gm inequality to find our answer.